I know you've seen the title, but just hear me out for one second. You ever have a friend that just so deeply inspires you? I have one of those friends. His name is Jason. You might actually remember him from years ago. He was in a couple of my videos. He microwaved a candle, which is a real thing he did. Also sneezing himself awake is a real thing that he did. He's just violently himself. He unironically drinks four locos. He invented sasquatching in PUBG. <laughs> These guys are watching me. They're like, oh fuck, we found a sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He has broken me many times. It's 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 all about that like that like that box flavor. Those the those those notes of plastic bag. <laughs> and cardboard. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> notes of plastic bag. Dude, I'm a I'm a I'm a wine enthusiast. A wineuthiest. Wait, a wine dinosaur. <laughs> wine dinosaur. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is getting all right. <laughs> I, think you, I think you broke her. I think you broke her. <laughs> oh, dude, I blacked out. You blacked out, dude. You blouted. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Jason, what? Wait, wait. Is that fucking English? <laughs> what? Dude, you fucking what? blowed it, dude! <laughs> and then recently, he brought me to new levels of inspiration. When he said this, live on his Twitch stream, context unknown. Corn on the cob, but in the middle, instead of the, the corn bone, it's a hot dog. Did I say that all right? Something about this sentence just really got me. First of all, I laughed for maybe 15 minutes straight. And then I was like, you know what, Jason? That's a great idea. I want to make it for you. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make corn on the cob, but instead of the corn bone, it's a hot dog. For my friend Jason, who if you're looking for, by the way, is a Twitch streamer, I'll leave his Twitch in the description. When I hear a sentence like that, I can't just not act on it. It just needs to exist. So here's my plan, because I've thought about many ways to do this. I'm gonna make a corn dog, or in our instance, a veggie hot dog. And it's good timing too, because it's almost 4th of July. And you know, what America has in controversial and questionable past, we make up for in culture and cuisine like hot dogs. So what I'm gonna try and do is make a corn dog, stay with me, and then individually put pieces of corn on it. <laughs> try and fry them so that they come out semi looking like a cob of corn. But you don't have to eat it like a corn dog, you can eat it like corn on the cob. <laughs> it's corn on the cob, but instead of the corn bone, it's a hot dog for my friend Jason, who deserves the very best in life. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do this because frankly, it's stupid. And why would anyone do it? I don't even know if it's gonna work. There is no plan B. I don't know what else to do if, if this doesn't pan out the way I want it to. Julian lent me his Aries Kitchen shirt and I'm just gonna make corn on the cob, but instead of the corn bone, it's a hot dog. What do you think? I don't think it's gonna turn out good. <laughs> I think it's gonna be bad. What if it does? The other thing that I thought about a lot was what kind of sauce would you eat with this, right? Would it be like a ketchup, like a hot dog, like a mustard, like a hot dog? Or would it be like an aioli, like you would eat with street corn? I think I'm gonna make like a chipotle aioli to eat with our corn on the cob, but instead of the corn bone, it's a hot dog because I think that would be delicious. Poor aioli. I've never made corn dogs. I've never really had any reason to make corn dogs. So we're gonna whisk together a cup of cornmeal. Ew. Wait, how many hot dogs does this make? I feel like a cup of cornmeal, this is a lot. I didn't read this, huh? A cup of all-purpose flour. We have gluten-free flour so that Julian can enjoy my corn on the cob, but instead of the corn bone, it's a hot dog. I like this recipe because it rolls off the tongue. It really does, it's so easy to say. And the recipe itself is gonna roll off the tongue because it's gonna be disgusting. <laughs> Two tablespoons of granulated sugar. I don't understand that sentence. Like he already said cob. He already said corn on the cob, but instead of the corn bone. 
<laughs> you already said cop. Two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt. So in this bowl to make vegan buttermilk, I added one cup of milk alternative and a tablespoon of vinegar. And now we're just letting it chill. We have a tiny whisk, thanks to Julian. Why did you buy this? Don't make fun of my small whisk. It's for sauces. Okay. So we're gonna mix our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients. So here comes my egg, very egg-like. Exactly like an egg. Buttermilk, two tablespoons of agave, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Healthy. I love being plant-based. <laughs> and then we have to let the corn dog batter rest, it says. You know, because it's been through a lot. I don't, is this gonna work? This looks good. I'm gonna taste it. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that's corn dog city. So I do have these sticks. They aren't corn dog sticks, but I don't want it to be a corn dog. I want it to be a corn on the cob, but I'm thinking of a way like how we can put the corn on it with, I don't know. We're just gonna have to find out. I just sit here and eat this all day. It's disgusting. I love frozen corn. Ew. My dad would take me fishing when I was little and to catch carp, you use canned corn as bait and I would eat all the bait and get in trouble. It's just so good. All right, so I'm gonna make like a little aioli upon Jenna's request. Thank you. Which is just like a little bit of vegan mayo and then some spices like chili powder, cumin, cayenne, garlic powder, and then a little lime, but we don't have lime, so. Julian also did this for me. 10 out of 10. Are you supposed to measure that? Yeah. I'm measuring it, can't you tell? We don't have any limes. It's literally an entire bag of limes. Here, throw it at me. I'm a min fruit ninja. Babe, no, Ryan, he can hurt his face doing that. Learn your lesson. Yeah, but he did it with a watermelon. And like a sword. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. 10 out of 10, yum. I might need you to help me because I'm really not comfortable with hot oil. Oh, I am. It is not my forte. It scares me. I don't like it. I'm Therefore, very comfortable with it. If you weren't around, I would never eat anything that was fried. That looks good. It looks like it's definitely thickened up a bit. Small kitchen fairies, leave. Hot oil, leave. It's funny. That's not leaving. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a little test dog. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> Here's your corn dog. The ratio of stick to dog is really not great. All right, let's go. Oh, nice. Fun and yum. Wow, that was fun and easy. Oh, it's like mega dripping off. Do you think this will work? <gasps> it doesn't work. Oh, Julian. Oh, oh God. Oh God, Julian, oh, what do I do? Oh, what do I do? This is a graveyard. <laughs> that is so disgusting. Julian, what do I do? Problem solved. <laughs> what if you fry them for like a second and just get them a little bit hard, but they're still sticky. And then roll them in the corn. Yeah, yeah do that. Okay. <laughs> Cause that ain't it cheap. Oh. That's good. Should I just throw this one out? What? Yes is the answer to that question. <laughs> Should I just like ignore that that's there? I think we've ruled out the possibility of being able to put these on there like individually. This is great. This is fine. Everything's fine. Don't. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Stop leaning on the gas like that. Lean on the gas. Your butt turns them on constantly. It's not the only thing my butt turns on. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so you're thinking like what, 10 seconds? I don't know. Uh, I've never made corn on the cob, but instead of the corn bone, it's a hot dog before. I'm scared of frying. You can do it. All right, 350. 348. Why don't I do the first one? Okay. Are you doing it? Yeah, this is easy. It's, it's like, I think we should do it now. Okay, try, go. It's not working. It's not working. Oh God, it's a bloodbath. Oh yes, it's working. Just squeeze them on there. This <laughs> is disgusting. I hate myself. <laughs> what have I done? There's gonna be corn floating in the deep fryer. Oh, Julian. All right, here we go. Do it. Oh God. What is that abomination? <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, what have I made? Oh my god. Is it done? It's like golden brown. Yeah, it's done, it's done. Oh my god. What the fuck is that? It looks like a corn dog, but the hills have eyes kind. <laughs> I gotta wash my hands. What the fuck? <laughs> Instead of the corn bone, it's a 
hot dog. I couldn't think of another way to do it. I'm dumb. Ah, uh, his wings. Oh god. Julian, I'm not good at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, that's kind of an idea. <laughs> it kind of makes you want to cry. <laughs> Bitch, what the fuck? Stop. So after some careful consideration in our first prototypes, wow, this one got messed up. I've thought about maybe just putting the corn in the batter. I think that's the move, honestly. Oh, honey. It's only fun of it, I'm trying. For my friend Jason. Jason, I made you a present. <laughs> this isn't what I had envisioned at all. Does anyone envision this? Round number three. It's still gonna be like too heavy though, isn't it? Yeah, see, look, there's like an absence of corn. Ready? <gasps> it's all just like flying off everywhere. What's wrong with me? I mean, that looks more like a corn dog, but it definitely doesn't look like corn on the cob. That's like our best one yet, but it's not corn on the cob. I want to eat the abomination. It's actually so good. Is it? Yeah. That's really good. It's so good. I just made corn dogs with random pieces of corn in it. It's not really what I wanted. Can I try this one? Mm-hmm. It's so good. Okay. But it's mostly because it's a corn dog. Why don't I try one real quick? Okay. That didn't work at all. You're making even more of an abomination than I'm making. Julian, now the whole thing's cut. Oh God. Oh, Julian, what have you done? <laughs> I mean, I can think of things to adhere the corn to the hot dog, but they're not edible. <laughs> what if I embed the corn onto the hot dog? But how do you think it's gonna just like adhere on that? Yeah! Ew. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. It's disgusting. It's for my friend Jason. <laughs> I got one. Oh, that is nasty. Is that good? I think not. <laughs> <laughs> what have I made? That looks like a poop. <gasps> this is nasty. Come on, corn. Really, Sick. really squeeze it on there. I, I'm trying, but it's hot. Okay. It's gonna work. Oh yeah. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Yep, yep, yep. Oh baby, I think we did it. Oh hell yeah. That's the best one. All right, so I feel like we've been testing corn dogs, but to truly make this corn on the cob, but instead of the corn bone, it's a hot dog. We don't have a stick. You serve it like this. There's fucking tweezers, <laughs> it's disgusting here. With a little sauce like this. You're gonna eat it like corn on the cob? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you corn on the cob, but instead of the corn bone, it's a hot dog. Taste test? Yeah. Because I already know it tastes good, but I'm really proud of how much corn I was able to get in there. I will say it is far more flexible than corn on the cob, but I mean, that's what you're asking for when instead of the corn bone, it's a hot dog. Okay, it's really good. <laughs> bite of hot dog. It's so weird. It makes sense in your brain when you eat it like a corn dog, but when you eat it like this, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hit your brain the same way. It hits different. It hits different. It hits worse that way. It hits so much worse like that. Oh. It's different. Now it just tastes like I'm eating a hot dog sideways. <laughs> it's so wrong. I don't even taste the corn. I just feel weird. <laughs> oh, God. It's just not right. It's just not right. It's for a good friend. 
He deserved to have someone at least try and make it. Is it wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Should it be banished forever? Yes. <laughs> I guess I challenge anyone that's actually like a good chef or knows what they're doing. If you could make corn on the cob, but instead of the corn bone, it's the hot dog, and you want to upstage all of this, please, by all means, I want to see if it's possible because this is where my intellectual capabilities end in terms of coming up with how this could possibly work. It's really good if you eat it like a corn dog. If you eat it like corn on the cob, it's really bad. You know, when I hear something that inspirational, it just needs to be done. So Jason, this is for you. I hope that you're happy with the outcome. I know I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what have we learned here? Sometimes things are better left inside of our brain. Love you, Jason. I hope that you enjoyed this and that I made all of your dreams come true. I will say though that it sounded a lot more profound coming out of your mouth than going into my mouth. So <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to my channel. I don't know why you would after this, uh, but see you next time. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> corn on the cob, but instead of the corn bone, it's a hot. <laughs>